OK, the proposition is that we believe that MOOCs can enhance the cross-institutional collaboration and the European policies necessary to support refugee HE and employment. HE is, of course, higher education, and MOOCs are massively open online courses. We could argue later about whether the exact definition or the implementation of MOOCs makes a difference, and there's certainly a wide variety of formats and platforms but for the time being, we're talking about basically rich media, interactive websites intended to attract large and unrestricted enrolment. OK, so do MOOCs enhance cross-institutional collaboration and do they enhance European policies? We believe the answer to both is yes. Our argument firstly in favour of cross-institutional collaboration is as follows. MOOCs are OER. Open educational resources, that is, they are freely available educational content. And they support open educational practices, meaning exploiting open content amongst an unrestricted community of learners. So, MOOCs, by virtue of being open, are potentially very inclusive and accessible, and are typical of the kind of initiative likely to be endorsed, promoted, and resourced by governments, universities, and agencies. OK, so, and secondly, MOOCs have been shown in general to help people gain skills and or knowledge that will open the door to HE and employment. And this is especially true for refugees with professional backgrounds who mostly need to see their expertise and their experience expressed within a European context so they can move back into their um, own professional activities. And thirdly, to help this along, Many HE institutions look at MOOCs as a form of open certificates that count towards entry requirements in a form of accreditation of prior learning. As such, they are the most practical incarnation of open education. Also, whilst there are many open education initiatives out there that can facilitate cross-institutional collaboration, we believe that MOOCs represent the lowest common denominator in the sense that they are popular and widely adopted so FutureLearn, amongst other platforms, shows various universities across the UK putting their courses onto this common platform and exploiting the visibility of the brand. So we are saying if MOOCs are the bandwagon, then refugee education and refugee support should jump on it. MOOCs also create a nationally visible, stable structure in the face of what is volatile and uncoordinated experiences for refugees at a local level. And amongst the more generalist subjects being offered, increasing numbers of MOOCs specifically address aspects of the refugee experience and refugee needs. OK, so secondly, we believe that MOOCs support favourable European policy making. And the research undertaken by the Moonlight Project has shown that for MOOCs to be effective for refugees and migrants, they need to be developed in collaboration with refugee support groups, NGOs, etc., and to follow design rubrics for, in, for inclusion socially that makes technology, linguistics, pedagogy, culture, ethics, and institutional policy as part of their composition. The project has also shown that MOOCs developed for refugees using such a rubric around their designs have completion rates and student satisfaction levels well above standard MOOCs. The project also presented different institutional scenarios, highlighting a range of examples of how refugees can use MOOCs, so we now have a variety of pathways that enable institutions to develop more focused implementations. And Finally, the project has highlighted the importance of institutional, national and European policies to support refugees in the use of open education and specifically of MOOCs. So we feel this is an initiative to be strengthened and consolidated and that indeed the case is proven that MOOCs can enhance the cross-institutional collaboration and the European policies necessary to support refugee, HE and employment.